everybody, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most powerful types of data you can put in Coda, which is a table. So I have two tables here in this doc. One has all of the companies, and then one is actually a filtered view that just shows me companies that are currently leads. So let's explore some of the things that we can do when we have a table in front of us. Number one, if you wanna move things around, you can just grab that little handle, move your rows around so you can reorganize it. You can also reorganize how you want those columns to be. Maybe I wanna put my status first and then the owner and put the info right at the very end. So everything can be dragged and dropped around. I can also open any of these rows to see more information by just clicking on the little arrows right over here. Now I can see, okay, we've got no prior contacts. I can see all of the hidden columns and I can also interact with all these things here by maybe changing this status to an opportunity instead of a lead. So those are the two different pieces, but I want you to also notice that tables aren't just about text and numbers like you see in a traditional spreadsheet program. We can actually have a scale of icons. We can have progress bars. We can have a place where people can say, hey, I've got a question or even a whole note taking area. So tables can be more than just basic info. It can actually hold all of the details you might need to better understand a project, a person, a customer, a task, and anything that you can imagine. The thing that I love best is that you don't have to worry about duplicating information. I've made a view of this table, which only shows me companies that are leads. And look what happens when things change. If maybe this is actually not active, it's a lead, notice it shows up down here. Or if this one's no longer a lead and it's now inactive, it gets filtered out of that view. So if you make a change in one spot, it automatically shows up everywhere else. So you don't have to try and remember every place you put that information. Now, I have this view on the same page, but I could put this view in another page so that we have everything we need right where we need it. And we know that we're always working with the most up-to-date information. So now it's your turn. Take a look at some of the tables that are in your Coda docs and explore the different ways that you can add context through columns and maybe move things around to better suit your needs. All right, it's your turn. I'll see you next time.